today thursday the 19th of september 2024 we have some hand-picked match predictions to share with you which will be backed up by some stats and analytics to help you make your picks in this list to boost your winning by a greater percent and to those of you who want to have access to even more games as well as our top list of match prediction based on over 1.5 and 2.5 goal match predictions as well as corner kick events which we share to members only and other street weed match prediction events then of course you want to make sure that you become a member of the level 2 pro plan to start to have access to all of these features which we share to members only to take your winning to the next level to those of you who want to join the link is below this video description you can easily click on that link and join to become a member and start to have access to all of these features we have mentioned to take your winning to the next level. So without wasting time, I'm going to begin with the first event of our today's list. Looking at the first event, we are looking at Estonia in the SA Liga, a match between Tabasalu against Flora. First, I will share with you the performance between these two. You can see that the home team, based on recent event they have had, they are very conceding. Three concede, four concede. Looking to that of the opponent, on the other hand, which is Flora U21, they are very, very offensive. And the rating based on recent events is very great. Scoring between two, three, and even four goals per each event. Looking at the performance based on stun of these two, I will share with you the form table of these two comparison based on home and the way game played. The home team, Tabasalu, you can see that based on its performance, the sits on the ninth position, having played five events, just one win at home, scoring five goals and conceding 12. They are very conceding and they are not good at scoring. But the opponent, on the other hand, which is Flora U21, you can see they have an average goal score rate of three, sitting on the third position. Having played five games, they have had 15 goals scored and nine conceded. Very offensive, as you can see here. And looking at everything in place, we want to look at two major picks in this event in full time. For this particular event, the home team is very conceding. But looking at that of its opponent, which is the away team, Flora U21, they are very offensive, having an average goal score rate of at least three goals per every each game. And of course, looking at this, the away team, which is more offensive, is going to take that advantage of the weak defense of the home team and therefore want to look at the possibility of at least the away team to lead or 1.5 going full time or two goals over. Looking at the next event, we are looking at Estonia in the SC Liga, but this time a match between Pet U21 against Elva. First, I'll share with you the recent performance of Pet based on recent event they have had. You can see that they are very, very conceded. Six conceded goal, two concede, three concede, three concede, and four concede. The recent event they have had shows that they concede too much. But that of Elva, on the other hand, proved how offensive they are. they are. You can see three scored goals, two, five, three, scoring between two, three, four, and even five goals per each event. Looking at the performance of the away based on away game they have had, you can see they are good based on the way, but that of the home shows that they concede too much. Looking at the stance and comparing the form between these two, I will share with you the performance that is home performance of the home team. You're going to see that they sit on the last position. Being on the 10th position, they have had five events, just one win, six goals scored, and 16 goals conceded. That's a very high conceding power. But looking at that of its opponent, which is the away team based on the away performance, you're going to see that of five events they have had sitting on the sixth position, they have had one win, scoring nine goals, and conceding nine. They are good at scoring, but the defense is also not good. And looking at everything in place, we want to look at two major picks in full time. Looking at this, you're going to see that the defense of both of these two are not good. And because of the weak defense of both sides, and one side being the side of high offense, like for example, Elva, it is going to take that advantage of the weak defense of its opponent. Also looking at its opponent, which is the home team, they want to also try to perform. And since its opponent is also not very strong at defense, want to look at goals possibility here now looking at the last head-to-head -head events which these two teams met this same year there were a total of four goals three against one this time of course both of these two are still weak in defense especially ever having better offense who take advantage of the weak defense of the home team 
Therefore, we still want to look at goals possibility, at least 1.5 or 2.5 goals for this event in full time. Looking at the next peak, we are looking at Asia in the AFC Championship, that is Champions League 2, a match between Lion City against Zijan Professional. In this event, the performance of the home team, which is Lion City, you can see, uh, the shows that they are good based on recent event they have had, trying to score between two and even six goals per each event. They actually played mostly in the Singapore Premier League itself, as you can see, and their performance has been great. Its opponent, on the other hand, is in the China Super League. You can see the most of the event they have had shows that the score goes mostly based on recent event they have had. And looking at the stands, this tournament, as you can see, is the first round, and it is just starting. And looking at everything in place, you can see being placed on the first and second position and want to look at two major picks in this event in full time. For this particular tournament, both of these two teams want to impress. And looking at the performance of each team based on their various league, you're going to see that Zijiang Professional and as well as Lion City, both of these two are very good, especially in terms of offense. And the fact that they are very good and best in their teams coming to play this particular Asia Championship in the first round, they will both want to impress. And looking at this, since the impression rate will be very high, there will also be the possibility of more shoots on and off target and leading to goals possibility. We want to look at at least 1.5 going full time or two goals over. Looking at the next, we are looking at Estonia in the S Liga B, a match between Tameka against Jovi Phoenix. This event, the performance of the home team Tameka prove how good they are 5, 1, 2, and 1 and 7, comparing to that of the opponent on the other hand, who also shows that they are very good in terms of scoring. Looking at the performance of Tameka at home, you are going to see that their home performance are always very great. High rating, as you can see, that of Jovic also, on the other hand, also proved that they are good at scoring. Now, looking at the stance of these two, I'll share with you the form comparison. And looking at the standing here and comparing the form, you're going to see that these two teams, especially Tameka, is very good based on form. And looking at Tameka at home, you're going to see that they are very offensive. Having played 14 events at home, you can see 44 goals have been scored. Very good at offense. And looking at that of its opponent, on the other hand, they are good at scoring and they're also good at concede. You can see 13 matches played at the way. They concede up to 33 goals. That's a very high conceding power. And they also do have scoring power of at least an average of between 1.8 and even 1.7. And looking at that of the home team, you, can, you are going to see that they are also good in terms of scoring. And looking at everything in place, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. Looking at these two teams, they are both good at scoring and the conceding power is also weak. That is, the defense is not very strong and the offense is also good. And looking at the fact that they have good offense and weak defense, we want to look at goals probability. Lastly, we want to first of all, first look at the last head-to-head -head these two teams meet. In the month of August, there were a total of eight goals between the two, seven against one. And uh, Tameka had a lose while its opponent beat it by seven goals. This time, of course, they are still coming to meet and still having weak defense and good offense. We still want to look at goals probability. That is, we want to look at 1.5 goals in full time as well as 2.5 goals in full time. Looking at the next peak here, we are looking at Europe Champions League women, a match between Galatasaray women against Slava Prague women. For this event, I will share with you the recent performance of matches being played by the Galatasaray women. They are very offensive and they have had games in the Super League itself. You can see 11 goals scored, 5 in the... You can see here they have played also in the Champions League women and their performance was very, very rich, very good. That of the opponent, on the other hand, have also had events with strong teams and you can see that they have had wins in most of the events. Having scored even 9 goals, 5, 2 and 4 goals, based on recent event they have had. And of course, looking at this tournament, and uh, I want to share with you this here, based on recent event being played by Galatasaray at home, very offensive, as you can see here. Its opponent, on the other hand, also proved that they are good at scoring, as you can see, based on recent matches they have had. And looking at everything in place, we want to look at two major peaks in this event in full time. Looking at this particular event, of course, both of these two sides have performed greatly in recent events they have had, especially Galatasaray, which is the home team. They have performed very greatly, especially in the Champions League women game they have had. 
as well as in the Super League Women Championship. And of course, looking at the recent performance also of that of its opponent on the other side, they are also good, scoring between two, four goals. That is two to four goals per each event. This time they are coming to meet and this is the first leg both of these two want to impress. And as a result, high impression rate will lead to more goals. Since both of these two want to impress, the shoot on target will be more. Shoot on target will also as off target, leading to high goal probability. So as a result, want to look at at least the possibility of 1.5 goals in full time or 2.5 goals in full time as our major picks. Looking at the next pick here, we are looking at Asia in the AFC Champions League. A match between Sydney FC against East Team AA. For this event, the performance of Sydney, you can see recent events show that they concede more, even though they also do score. That of its opponent on the other hand, which is East Team AA, proved to be more offensive based on recent events they have had. 5 2, 3, and 2. And looking at the recent game performance, that is of the home team, you're going to see that when they come at home, they try to perform great. That of Easton, on the other hand, also is very good. Looking at the stand comparison, since this tournament is just starting and it is the first round, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, this tournament is just starting and both of these two want to impress. Looking at the performance recently based on both of these two, they have shown that they have high probability of goal scoring. And coming to meet each other this time for this particular tournament as the first round, both two want to impress. As a result, it will cost more goals to occur. So want to look at at least 1.5 goal in full time or the probability of 2.5 goals in full time as our major pick. And to those of you who want to access more games based on our hand-picked events backed up by stat, and also over 1.5 and top list of match prediction based on goals, probability, and corner kicks event, then of course you want to make sure that you join the Level 2 Pro Membership Package Plan and start to have access to all of these features to take your winning to the next level. The link is below this video. Click on it, join, and start to benefit from members-only videos as well as members-only match prediction picks based on corner kicks, straight wins, goals probability on our top list. Good luck and see you again from the inside and bye-bye for now.